Welcome to the third instalment in our Getting Started with Crowdsec series. So in this video, I'll be talking to you all about Crowdsec block lists and telling you exactly what they are, how you can subscribe your security engines to them and how they offer an extra layer of protection for your online applications and services. So we really introduced Crowdsec block lists to give our users the opportunity to enhance and most importantly, customize their security defense. So block lists are lists of known malicious IP addresses that have been categorized by specific threats, such as proxies or Tor exit nodes or botnets or a list of known scammers. So to access these block lists, you need to click into the block list tab here and you will be presented with all of the available block lists that we offer currently to our, our users. So our users really have the opportunity to select block lists aligned with their security requirements and the kinds of services they are running, which allows you to take a proactive approach tailored to your specific requirements to take a proactive approach against a list of known malicious IP addresses. So if you remember in my first video where I showed you how to configure CrowdSec for an Ubuntu machine that was running an Apache web server, if I then built out a WordPress website on top of that deployment, it would make a lot of sense for me to subscribe to the CrowdSec WordPress list, which contains a list of IP addresses that are mainly known for targeting WordPress sites. So they really give me a chance to take a proactive approach against lists of known malicious IP addresses before they even have a chance to attempt to gain access to my to my website or any applications or services that I'm running. So all of our CrowdSec console users can benefit from these block lists. The things to note are users on our community plan, so our free plan, they are able to subscribe to three of our free block lists. So the block lists that are available to subscribe to for free are these at the bottom of the page that are not marked with one of these medals. So these three at the top, these are only available for users on a premium plan. And if you're on a premium plan, you can enjoy access and unlimited access to all of our premium and free block lists. So to, to subscribe to a block list is really simple. So once you have chosen whichever block list you want to subscribe your security engine to. If you click into it, you'll be able to first see a few basic bits of information about the block list, such as a description. So you'll notice that I've clicked into this Tor block list. So this just tells me that this list contains Tor exit node IP addresses. You'll also be able to see the total number of IP addresses that you can see here, as well as when this block list was last updated and some of the changes or change log for the block list over the last month and days. So once you've selected the block list you want to subscribe to, it's really simple to subscribe your security engine to it. If you scroll down the bottom of the page and click on add security engine, you'll be prompted to select what security engine you want to subscribe this block list to. So, I'm back on my personal account here, so I just have the one security engine running. So if I select that, I will then be prompted to select the kind of remediation I want my security engine to deploy or add to this list of known IP addresses. So you can see that I have the choice to automatically ban all of the IP addresses in this block list. I also have the choice to add a capture so any of these IP addresses that are trying to access my system, they will be presented with a capture um, or I can add custom protection. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to select the option to ban. So again, this will ban all of the IP addresses that are in the block list. So it really takes a proactive approach to securing my systems. And then finally, all I need to do is click save. And after a couple of seconds, you will see that my security engine is now subscribed to our block list. So that is really how simple it is to tailor 
some of your crowd tech protection against threats that you think are more likely or have shown to be more persistent in trying to access your systems.